Hello, my name is Deanna Ford. I'm the festival chair with the 2017 Thunder Bay Environmental Film Festival here in Ontario, Canada. It's our eighth film festival. We've been at this for, well, a long time now, and we are able to keep putting on festivals because of funders and sponsors helping us bring in all of these films. And I'm standing here with one of our sponsors, David Litt from Investors Group, to talk with him a little bit about the festival and a little bit about what he does and why he, he keeps it supporting this film festival. This is what, maybe a third year, maybe fourth year that you've been supporting the festival. Why, why do you keep supporting the festival, David? Well, I'm, I'm interested in learning more about the environment. Um, you know, our personal connection uh, certainly helped me point, a, point me in a direction of where to go and, and how to learn a little bit more. And I thought if I'm going to learn a little bit about the environment, how can I support, you know, the efforts a little bit as well? And so being a sponsor of this festival seemed to be a natural fit and, uh, and helps me do my bit and, and my share and learn at the same time. That sounds like a neat idea. Uh, I was wondering if there's any environmental topics or issues that kind of touch you or interest you a little bit more, because there's quite a few out there, but they don't all touch everybody. So what touches you? Yeah, there's a few. And, and one of the ones that you let me know that you're going to be presenting is in regards to the military and, and how it's responding to or preparing or adjusting mm -hmm. its operations for the environment. Uh, and the concerns. And that's something that's been of interest to me because I've been a military officer for many, many years as a reservist and, uh, and have seen how the military has changed from my perspective mm -hmm. in regards to how we deal with the environment and, and are responsive to it. And so I'm, I'm interested to see uh, how you know, the, the U.S. forces is changing their dynamic in response to environmental changes. I think that's going to be a topic of great interest to me. Right. And I think for most people, and we saw good examples of you know the impact of, of war on the environment in the in the Middle East and the Gulf War, where all of these oil wells are burning you know uncontrolled for months at a time, uh, just putting black smoke right into the environment. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's a huge impact right there, just the after effects of of war. It is, yeah, and and climate change is showing up. Actually, I want to mention one of our films is set actually in Bolivia, where there was year-round skiing it was a mecca for skiing and the snow is gone the glacier is gone and and it does play a role it is impacting what's happening i was wondering is there a film you mentioned the military one is that a film that you're keen to see or are there any other films that you're, you're looking forward to seeing yeah the other uh, one would be the uh the, the uh, standpoint from the professional fishermen in regards to the, the water ecosystem you know, I love to fish in this area, as do many people. We've got a great freshwater system of lakes, and uh, I, I'm interested to see the impact that's happening there, um, and also to, to see how we might be impacting the environment. And, you know, fishing is a, is a great sport. I really enjoy doing it with my family. I want to make sure that that's going to be around for a long time, and, and so being better educated on, on what's happening around us in that regard is going to be of great interest, too. Great. And, and you're actually going to get a chance to meet Lawrence Gunther. He's coming to Exciting. to be here for his film. And for anyone who doesn't know Lawrence, he is a professional fisherman who travels with his guide dog. He is a blind blind person and fishes. And he has a really unique take, uh, a unique experience that he's going to share with us about what's happening with the water uh, from, from his perspective. Is there anything else that you'd like to mention just before we wrap up? Yeah, so I'm a financial planner, and so I'm always very interested in regards to how my industry uh, can be involved in uh, the environment. Um, not only just environmental concerns, but social responsibility concerns as well from an investing standpoint. It's, it's a topic that is growing in our industry, mm -hmm. but it's a topic that I think is still very new to our industry and, and how we try to respond to that. Um, you know, I, I, I have clients uh, that do tr want to be socially responsible, want to be ethically and, and um, environmentally responsible in how they choose their investments. And the challenge as an advisor is trying to meet my clients' needs to, to reach their goals and do that with um, investment vehicles that allow them to do that in a manner that's, that's comfortable for them. Mm -hmm. And investing is a very personal thing. Uh, you know, what one person might consider a, a socially responsible fund may not meet the standards for somebody else. And I think that's a challenge for us as advisors is, is finding the right tools to match people's needs. Right. Yeah. And, and it's definitely not a cookie cutter approach because of that. So we need to have more products that are available and more choices for people to make, make uh, you know, the fund choices that they're comfortable with that meet their needs. So 
that's important. Right. And hopefully companies that we invest in just in general will just become better in that regard. And we won't need to have specific <laughs> funds just to address that. And we know that the companies that we're investing in are acting in a, in a responsible manner. That, that would make life a little bit easier, right? So much easier for us, absolutely. Yeah. And for everybody else. Yeah. Well, and there's a ton of opportunity with that and, and the, the power that, I mean, shareholders and, and companies just, they, play a big role in what happens so absolutely appreciate that you're looking into that and trying to trying to move it in a, in a direction like that absolutely yeah that's awesome well thank you very much for taking this you're time welcome. to chat with me and I just want to remind everyone that the Thunder Bay Environmental Film Festival will be screening films starting on April 19th to the 23rd that's a Wednesday night through Sunday we have 11 features we've got two youth films from our youth project it's at the Bore Alaskan Theatre at Lakehead University. Super easy to find. Parking is right beside the building. Free admission. Donations appreciated. You can find all of the details at ecofilm.ca, including trailers for every movie. Ecofilm.ca. And we're also on Facebook. Check us out. See you at the movies.